everyone, what the hell is going on? This is CSS for Beginners Lesson 11. I'm the Net Ninja, and today we're going to talk about inheritance. <laughs> okay, so what the heck is inheritance? Well, to explain that, I've done this funky little tree here, and it's all colour coordinated for you guys, so I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. Um, <laughs> Alright, so what have we got? We've got a sample, simple HTML structure here, okay? We open with the body tag and we close with the body tag. That, we'd say, was the top level element, the parent element, okay? Everything in pink here is within the body tag. It's one level deep. You've got this div tag here and the closing tag and then the h1 tag. We'd say this was a child element of the body tag, okay? It's one level deep. And then finally, we've got this p tag here with text in it, which is yellow. We'd say that is the child of this div tag here. And we could say it's the grandchild of the body tag because it's two levels deep within the body tag, but only one level deep within the p tag. Now, how is this important with CSS? Well, the way it works is this. If we apply styles to the body tag here, then everything within this body tag will inherit those styles. So if we say, okay, uh, we want a font color of green for the body, and we apply that just to the body, then everything within it would automatically inherit that style and have a green color, a green text color. If we say, okay, we want to give all the div tags a color of blue, then everything within the div tags would automatically be colored blue. We don't have to style the P directly because it's inheriting from the div style. All right, so to put this into practice, we're going to go back into the code and go through a few examples. All right, troopers, I'm back here in the HTML file we've been working on. I've stripped out all the CSS we've done so far, and we're going to go through a few examples of this whole inheritance malarkey, all right? So we're going to start off with what we went through in the slide, and that was the body. So we're going to write our simple body selector and give it a property of color, and we'll say red. We want all the text within body to be red. That means, okay, so we'll save this, and we'll view this in a browser, showing Explorer and open up in Google Chrome. And there it is, simple as, everything's red. And that's because everything within the body, all the tags that are within the body, are inheriting that style, okay? So where we put here, color red, it's saying, okay, well, apply this rule to every div tag within the body, okay? Everything within that body tag. Now, what if we want all the divs these two to be colored blue. Everything within that we want blue. Well, we can override this uh, this body tag, and this is a form of a conflict, by the way. It carries on from conflicts, and we could say color blue, right? Well, the CSS is gonna say, well, hey, okay, I found the body, and I'm gonna color everything inside the body red, and every tag is gonna inherit that, but then this div tag is going, whoa, not me, not me, I wanna be blue, okay? So we're overriding that default inherited style. So everything now within the div tags should be blue. So let's have a view of that in the browser again. Oops, let's save this first. Open this in Chrome. And there we go, we've got the uh, div tag at the top with the headers in and the div tag with the paragraphs in which are blue. So they're overriding those inherited styles. All right, so now what if we wanted the p tags to be green? You know, they're like, well, hang on, I don't want to be blue, I want to be green. Even though they're inheriting this div style here of blue, the p tags, we can override it further by saying, okay, well, all p's, I want to color green. Okay, so again, oops, the CSS is coming down here from top to bottom. It's saying, well, okay, the body, I'm going to color all the text within that red. And then the div tags are going, no, no, not us. We want to be blue. So we're coloring all the text within div tags blue. And then finally, at the bottom, you've got these p tags going, no, no, no. We want to be green. So then the p tags are being colored green. So these inherited styles, as we go down through the chain of children, are being overridden by the styles themselves on the elements. Okay, does that make sense? So we'll view this in a browser once more. And now we can see, okay, we've got the initial red text here because we've given that body tag um, a style of color red. So everything within the body tag is inheriting that and it's coloring everything red, okay? Then it's coming to the div tags and they're saying, oh, we want to be colored blue. So it's coloring both the div tags blue, which is this and this, this bit here, sorry. And then finally, 
the P tags are shouting about going, no, 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 we want to be green. So finally, the P tags are being overridden again, that inherited blue style to colour them green. All right. So I am going to throw a spanner in the works because this inheritance thing doesn't always work. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to go to the bottom of the HTML file here and add a link tag in. Don't forget that's A. And we'll just give it a hurry of any old thing here just to put a pound sign in and then uh, I'm a spanner oops spanner right so let's view this in a browser now before we do that what would you expect the color of this text to be well let's have a look we've said that we want everything in the body tag to be red and it's in the body tag it's not within a div tag so it's not going to be blue and it's not a p tag it's an a tag so you'd expect it to inherit the body tag style which is red here wouldn't you all right well let's have a look view this in chrome again uh open with chrome and there it is wait it's blue now why is that happening well, this is where the default browser styles are kicking in. Remember that video that I did on default browser styles? If you've not seen that, I'm going to pop a link to the description below so you can go out and check that and then come back here. But essentially what's happening is these default browser styles, one of the default styles implemented by the browser is on a links on all a tags, sorry. And what it does is it colors all a tags by default blue and underlines them. OK, so even though we've not specified here, um, we want this a tag to override this color of red. The browser has done that. Essentially, what the browser has done is said a color blue and text decoration underline. OK, that's what the browser has done behind the scenes. That's a default browser style and it's overriding this inherited style of red. OK, so you need to be careful. It doesn't always work, these inheritance things. You need to know what the default browser styles are so you can keep track of what's been inherited and what's not. All right. So just to demonstrate that we can change this, we can override these default styles. We can color it yellow if we want to. Uh, we'll save this and open this up back in the browser. And there it is, yellow now, barely legible at all. So, I mean, that's the basics of how inheritance works. Um, you need to be really careful, really, really careful, because it can get very messy very quickly. You know, we've done like, what, four different rules here, and it's already starting to get a little bit complicated. When you've got rules going up into the hundreds or possibly even thousands of big websites, you're going to have to keep track of them. That's why it's always good to organize your CSS uh, effectively using comments like I showed you earlier. So that's about it for this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll answer all of those questions. Otherwise, if you like these videos, please, please, please subscribe, share and like them. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to look at specificity in CSS conflicts. I'll see you guys then.